Our focus today is to find the limit of a function. Shall we say, uh, we have uh, we have the limit, the limit of the quotient x raised to 2 plus uh, x minus 6 over x raised to 2 uh, over x minus 2 as uh, your limit as your x is approaching approaching 2. Now notice that uh, when we are going to look for the value of the limit of a given function now we can make use of the direct substitution. Okay. We can make use, number one, we can make use of the direct substitution. But when we make use of the direct substitution and that it will give you a result of 0 over 0 or any number divided by 0, those things are uh, indeterminate and the other one is undefined, then we have to do something. We have to make use of any other process or other processes that uh, will not make the result indeterminate or undefined. So that if you will notice in here our problem, the limit of the quotient x raised to 2 plus x minus 6 over x minus 2 as your x is approaching 2. Notice that the denominator, if we make use of the direct substitu substitution, the denominator will be 0. As you can see, replace x, that is 2 minus 2, it will give you 0. Now what about the uh, numerator? x raised to 2. Uh, that is 4 plus uh, 2, that is 6 minus uh, 6, that is the same as 0. So the result is indeterminate. Okay, indeterminate. Now, what are you going to do now so that uh, you can uh, look for the possible limit of this one if there is the limit? In here, we have to reduce the rational function. As you notice, our rational function is factorable. So before we're going to solve for its limit, now we have to we have to get or reduce the rational function by making use of the factoring method. So we have to look into the factor. We have to look into the factor of our numerator. What are the factor of our numerator? We can have x. Okay, we can have x plus 3, okay, multiplied by x minus minus 2 over x minus minus 2. As your x, again, is approaching 2. Notice that uh, we have this one as its factor, but before we're going to continue, now let's try to recheck. This is 3 multiplied by x, that is 3x. And that is the same as 2 multiplied by negative uh, 2. It will give you negative 2x. And so subtract them. It will give you a middle term that is the same as x. Now how about this one? 3 multiplied by negative 2. It will give you 6. x multiplied by x. It will give you x raised to 2. That is how to check our factor if our factor really is a correct one. Now notice that after factorization, we can now reduce the limit by cancelling or by dividing this one x minus 2 over x minus 2 it will give you 1 1 multiplied by x plus 3 it will give you x plus 3 and so after having now the uh, factorization of our limit we have now the reduced limit that is the same as that is the same as the limit of what the limit of x plus x plus 3 okay x plus 3 as your x is approaching approaching 2. Now notice that uh, in here we are actually applying the loss of limit or limit loss by simply simply saying that uh, this is the same as converted if we apply the limit of loss or limit loss this is the same as saying the limit the limit of x as your x is approaching approaching 2 plus the limit of uh, 3 as your x is approaching approaching 2 now what is that law that is the that is the uh, uh, sum of the limit okay that is the sum of the limit and so how are we going to have that one how are we going to uh, uh, 
evaluate this one. This could be evaluated now as by us. This could be evaluated as a uh, two plus. How about this one? This is constant limit or the law on constant. That is the same as plus plus three. And so meaning, if we are going to have now the result that is five. So what is the limit of the function? Limit of the function x raised to two plus x minus six over over x minus two as your x is approaching two. The limit is the same as five. And that is how to get the limit of the function by uh, factoring the factoring the problem, factoring the limit. Okay, so the limit of the given problem is five. Five. Again, we have in here the number two. What is the limit? What is the limit of the quotient of x? Uh, the square root of x minus 2 over x minus 4 as your x is approaching 4. Now notice again in here that we cannot make use of the direct substitution. Now what are you going to do? Well of course you have to you have to see to it that uh, uh, you are going to apply the rationalization method in here. Why? Because you cannot reduce this one. Unlike in here, that uh, when we have an indeterminate result, indeterminate result, what we did in here is we have to reduce the uh, rational function by having their common factor. So the common factor of the numerator is we have uh, the factors of the numerator is x plus 3 then x minus 2. So as you can see, we can divide their common factor. And so what is left now is the limit of the quantity x plus 3 as your x is approaching 2. In here, uh, we cannot also, we cannot make use of the uh, reduction or the reducing the way, the method of reducing the rational function. But in here, we are going to rationalize. And so how are we going to rationalize? But before we're going to rationalize, uh, assuming that uh, we have to make, we, ha we will be using the direct substitution, you notice that uh, x minus 4, which is if your x is 4, it will give you a, numer a denominator of 0. Okay, a denominator of 0. Now, what about in here? It will still give you a numerator of 0, so that is the same as the square root of 4 is 2 minus 2, it will give you 0 again. The result is indeterminate. And so if the indeterminate, if the result is indeterminate, we have to look into a way or a method that uh, it will not give us a result which is indeterminate. And so what is that method? Again, rationalization method. So let's try to rationalize. So, or when we say rationalize, we actually multiply the one or idea of one. Now, but of course, when we say 1, 1 is defined by a given variable. Okay, so we have in here x minus 4 as your x. x is approaching 4. What would be our multiplier? Our multiplier would be, that is the same as the value of 1, which is x, the square root. Okay, we have in here the square root of x plus 2. Same, that is the square root of x plus 2. And that is how to rationalize. We make use of the uh, numerator because it has the radical, it has the radical symbol. Now notice that when we are going to continue having this one, we multiply the numerator is actually the same as the difference of perfect square. Okay, so that is the same as the limit of uh, the limit of uh, x, the square root of x raised to 2, and that is the same as minus, 
that is the same as minus minus 4. The difference of perfect square as you can see this one. Okay, now what about for the what about for the uh, numerator, uh, denominator? Uh, we have to we have to uh, distribute. So x multiplied by the square root of x, it will give you x the square root of x. Now x multiplied by 2, it will give you plus 2x. And uh, negative 4 multiplied by this one, it will give you minus, minus 4 the square root of the square root of x. And of course, the other one, multiply it will give you negative negative 8 okay so we have this one as the rationalized rationalized form okay or if you like we maintain the uh, we maintain the we maintain the uh, uh, that is the same as this one we are not going to we're not going to distribute okay we're not going to distribute what about if we do not distribute? Still, the result is, if we do not distribute, okay, so let's say, Sabine, let's say in here, or, or, the limit of, uh, what is the uh, root of this one? X, how about in here? That is the same as minus 4. What about if we did not distribute? This is the same as what? This is the same as X minus or multiplied by that is the square root of uh, the square root of x plus plus 2 notice that uh, when we do not distribute we have this one we can see immediately to what uh, what part can be cancelled out okay what part can be cancelled out so as you can see we can cancel out this one x minus 4 and then x minus 4 unlike unlike the other one this one unlike this one that when we are uh, when we distribute this one or multiply immediately in here we cannot see immediately this result okay we cannot see immediately this result and so better if uh, possible uh, do not uh, multiply it yet uh, try to try to evaluate first or try to reduce first the uh, numerator and then after that one if you find out that uh, there is a common factor then you must cancel out or if you cannot uh, if you can no longer cancel out this one then that's a time you're going to distribute like this one okay so notice that uh, we have already we have already a result which is the same as what which is the same as the limit of 1, what is our numerator, 1 over the square root of the square root of x plus plus 2. And as of course, as your x is approaching 4. Now, so that if you will notice this one, we can have now the direct substitution uh, by saying, by saying that is the same as 1. Okay, how about this one? The square root of the square root the square root of 4 plus 2 and so it will give you that is the same as 1 over the square root of 4 which is 2 plus 2 and so final answer is the same as 1 1 fourth okay final answer is the same as 1 fourth so meaning to say we can now say that we can now say that the limit of the original function, the limit, the limit of the original function, which is the same as uh, the square root of x minus 2 over uh, x minus 4, as your x is approaching, approaching 4, is the same as 1 fourth, okay? Is the same as one fourth. So this is already, this is already the limit of the problem one fourth. Okay. So again, if 
you make use of the direct substitution and the result will be undefined or in indeterminate such as this number one and number two meaning to say you think of a way that you can solve still the problem the limit you can solve the limit by what in here we make use of the technique in here is we make use of uh, factoring we factor we factor okay we factor the numerator and after that one after that one we made cancellation cancellation okay cancellation and that is our method in the number one what about the method in the number two we make use of the rationalization by what by by what in here how did we do this one we, let's try to write write it on top we took the conjugate we took the okay we took the conjugate 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 of our numerator those with radical and then after that one use it to rationalize okay rationalize so those are the method we made use in the number one and number two i hope you understand the i hope you understand the uh, process of doing the limit again we have in here number number three example okay now notice that uh, the limit of x plus the limit of the quotient x plus one over the over x raised to two minus one as your x is approaching approaching positive one uh notice that the denominator also approaches what is that zero okay as your x is approaching one the denominator is zero of course our uh, numerator is the same as the same as two now in here uh the problem is or the result is undefined okay so the problem is undefined now so that if if the result is undefined we have to think of a way to find out if there is really a limit but if there is no really limit well uh, we considered it to be the limit does not exist okay we will uh, conclude that the limit does not exist but of course uh, in using the direct substitution if the result is undefined we have to think of a way that we can still solve okay why because as i said if there is no limit if there is really no limit of the problem then you cannot really solve that one and that we can conclude that the limit does not exist now how are you going to do the problem okay how are you going to do the problem notice that our uh, numerator is uh, uh, our denominator is the difference of perfect square and so when we say that that is the difference of perfect square then we might we might have a factor for our denominator so x plus one for numerator how about the denominator the difference must uh, the factor the uh, the binomial factor must be x plus 1 and x minus minus 1. That is the binomial factor of the denominator. Of course, as your x is approaching what again? 1. Okay. Now notice that uh, when we are going to uh, have this one evaluate, now the numerator can be factor, uh, can be cancelled out. And so what remains to be in the limit now or what is the limit now or the new limit now or reduced limit will be the same as the limit of 1 over x minus x minus 1 as your x is approaching what is approaching 1 notice that uh, still when we are going to have this one, when we are going now to have the direct substitution, when we are going to have the direct substitution, uh, having said the direct substitution, it will give you a result of 1 over 1 minus 1, which is the same as 
which is the same as 1 over 0. 1 over 0. Now, notice that the limit of the function really is 1 over 0, and so we therefore conclude that the limit now of uh, our problem x plus 1 over x raised to 2 minus 1 as your x is approaching approaching 1 the result is 1 over 0 so if that is 1 over 0 is still undefined still undefined then we we can say that uh, this result or the limit of the function do not exist okay do not exist okay so again so again as you can see in here we tried our best to uh, get the possible uh, solution but uh, still the result is undefined and so when we are going to consider this one we can say now that as your x is approaching 1 the denominator approaches 0 and so we can say now that uh, the limit does not exist in this situation okay the limit does not exist in this situation okay okay for the number four suppose the limit of the function f of x as x is approaching 2 is equal to 3 and the limit of g of x as your x is approaching 2 is equal to 4 now it says in here find 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 the limit of the quantity f of x plus g of x now how are we going to evaluate this one so in the limit loss it says in here when we have the sum of the function limit of the sum of the function now we can uh, rewrite this one by saying by saying the limit the limit of uh, f of x f of x plus g of x okay as your x is approaching as your x as your x is approaching 2 will be the same as the limit of f of x as your x is approaching approaching what approaching 2 plus the limit of g of x as x is approaching approaching 2 so that is the meaning now notice that uh, uh, in the problem the function is defined the function is defined and so with that when we say the limit of f of the limit of f of uh, x is equal to 3 then that can be said to be the limit of f of x is 3 as your x is approaching approaching 2 okay is approaching approaching 2 now what about what about the other one that can be said to be plus the limit of g of x which is the same as 4 that is for as your x is approaching 2 now in here notice that we apply the cons uh, uh, the uh, constant limit or yes the constant limit or in that is the same as the constant function okay so notice if we are talking of the constant limit the result of this one is 3 okay the result is 3 plus 4 and so the limit is 7 the limit is 7 and thus we can now conclude we can now conclude that uh, your limit your limit 
uh, of the quantity f of x plus g of x g of x as your x is approaching approaching 2 will give you a result of 7 so that is the limit that this is as your x is approaching 2 okay so that must be the limit of the problem so notice that in here we apply the constant limit we also apply the uh, sum of the limit okay we also apply the sum of the limit so i hope you understand this number four we have in here the number five so it says in here number five is the limit of the quotient of x raised to 2 minus x minus 1 over the square root of the sum of x plus 1 notice that we can if we will be having the direct substitution in here now we can have them the direct substitution to uh, uh, evaluate this or to find the limit of this problem but uh, of course when we are going to evaluate the problem we have to apply the limit loss or the uh, law of limits by saying now by applying now the quotient of the limit of the quotient of functions okay by saying now that that is the same as the limit of uh, the quantity x raised to 2 minus x minus 1 as your x is approaching approaching 3 over okay over that is the same as saying the limit uh, the limit of the square root the limit of the square root of x plus 1 as your x is approaching approaching 3 now what we are uh, what we are doing in here is we are actually applying the limit loss or the li law on limits now notice that uh, when we are going to apply the law on limits in here we can also uh, say that this is the same as the limit of x raised to 2 as your x approaches 3 minus the limit of x as your x is approaching 3 minus the limit of 1 as your x is approaching 3 you can write this form into that now what about the limit in here the application of the limit in the in the uh, <clears throat> in the denominator let's try to have first the numerator let's rewrite the limit of x raised to 2 as your x is approaching 3 minus the limit of x as your x is approaching approaching 3 okay as your x is approaching 3 now what about this one the limit of 1 as your x is approaching approaching 3 now what about in the denominator that can also be said to be the square root the square root of the limit of your uh, quantity x my x plus 1 as your x is approaching approaching 3 okay as your x is approaching 3 now consider applying now the uh, li the uh, limit loss so it says in here uh, the value of x is 3 so 3 raised to 2 and 3 raised to 2 minus 3 minus minus 1 and so what about in here that is the same as the limit of the square root of uh, 3 the square root of 3 
plus 1. So you have now the result, which is the same as 9 minus 3. 9 minus 3, that is 6 minus 1, that is 5. Okay. And what about in here? The square root of 4 or the result now would be 5 over 5 over 2. So 5 over 2. So we can now conclude that uh, the limit, the limit of x raised to 2 minus x minus 1 over the square root of x plus 1 as your x is approaching approaching 3 is the same as 5 over 5 over 2 okay so the limit is 5 over 2 okay notice that uh, actually in here we can have the direct substitution okay we can have the direct substitution so that is the limit of the number 5 Thank you.